I'm Sam. And I'm Greg. We're, We're human, human beings. beings. And, and we, we like, like movies. movies. We'll be doing reviews of brand new releases. Old classics. Entire sagas. And even TV shows and video games. This, this is Reaction Time. Time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 40. 40. Of Reaction Time Podcast. 40. F- 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 shorty and f- thriving. 40. Sh- 40. <laughs> 40, 40, short- 40, 40 shorty and <laughs> f- thriving. That's yeah, we're thriving. Yeah, hardcore. You guys, today we're talking about the creator, the creator, the new movie by Gareth Edwards, creator of Rogue One. Rogue One. And welcome to Sam's new studio. Welcome to the new Woo! studio. We're here. We're vibing. We're thriving, and we're f- also we're forty. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. Uh, things sound a little better, look a little better. You don't have to look at the tan walls anymore. Hopefully I look better. Hopefully Craig looks better. Yeah. Um, Craig just recently discovered a new Thai way to uh, take care of his skin. So he's been bathing in <laughs> lots of exfoliants <laughs> and doing a lot of eye masks at oh. night. Oh, yeah. Which is why he looks the way he does. Yeah. It's wonderful. That's um, it. And I'm really just super happy for you. Man. And I lost my hair because of it. You lost, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, super yeah. toxic. Yeah. Um, it's called Nair. And uh, I don't know. I think it's fr- it's from Asia somewhere. Well, technically, that's neutral air and super smash. So, Nair. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that, yeah. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay. Oh, so, man. first portion of this is going to be spoiler free. This movie yep. just came out last week, about five days ago. Yes, it did. Um, so we're going to do spoiler free and we'll let you know when there's spoilers going yeah. on. So if this is your first time listening, we haven't done this in a while. Yeah. Let we, them know. I don't know. Do we like, should we do this every time or just every once in a while? How, maybe when there's uh, new movies. Yeah. I don't know. So we rate every movie out of a thousand mm-hmm. because movies are worth more than 10 points. Yes, they are. You still need Amen. to make a TV shirt. Yep. TV shirt? A TV. I'm going to make a TV, TV shirt. shirt. I do. Dude, yeah. a TV, just a little TV in our shirts. Yeah, so we rate them five categories. We got the visuals, the story, the acting, the score, and the vibe. vibe. And we break those into 200 points each. Yep. Uh, winner take all. Winner take all. So, we always let you know when we're doing spoilers. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and here we are. Okay. All right, Craig. I want you to give me— No, I wanted you because this okay, is like your I most can, hype movie I can do movie it. I can year. do it. I can give it to you. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's your out of 10? I have been going back and forth a lot. Oh, okay. With this movie. I, oh, it's like, you know, one, like 1.1 1. 1 makes a, <laughs> like a, for some reason, why does that make such a big difference? Well, it's the difference my, between 8.9 and 9. That's true, but mine's yeah. not even there. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> it's not that big of a difference. So I'm going to say 9.5. Okay. That's... What were you thinking, 9.4? I've been juggling anywhere between 9 and like 9.6. Okay. Um, I was really juggling between 9.5 and 9.6. Okay. I'm going to stick with the 9.5. Okay. Um, what was yours? So I had one number. Okay. It was going to be an 8.9. Okay. And then I, and I'll get it, I'll get into this when we get into kind of spoilers, but I watched a video of somebody reviewing this movie in a way, but also talking about just, how this movie exists. Yeah. And some of the stuff that I had issues with when he was explaining just kind of like, this is a brand new idea, right? right. This is an original right. idea. There's no IP. It's not based off a book. There's yeah. nothing. And it's an $80 million budget. Which is, if you guys don't know, of. that's so cheap that's to make un- a movie. Well, that's also unheard of for a new IP for somebody to drop Absolutely. $80 million on. And a movie that looks like this. Mm-hmm. Like you, maybe a movie with no visual effects. Oh, yeah. Like you could do. Yeah. Right? But not a movie that looks like this. Yeah. So I had some issues with the story. Yeah. I, but then I when did he as explained well. it, basically, his name's Chris Stuckman. I don't know if okay. you've ever heard of him. He's I've a, heard of him. He's yeah. a movie reviewer. So yeah. everything I'm saying, this is totally him. This this isn't me. But yeah. there's a lot of similarities with this story with a lot of other stuff that's already out there. Okay. So that's why I kind of had some issues with the story. I was just like, yeah. this is something we've heard before. But what he was saying was, to make a new IP and have that big of a budget to do it, 
you need to go to the people and be like, oh, it's like this, you know? Yeah. And so people will like it because of this. Or That's true because you have no proof that it's going to work. No. At all. And he's not that big of a director, right? Rogue yeah. One did really well, yeah. but it's not Christopher Nolan. It's not Quentin no, Tarantino. It's not, he's not really a household name. No. And know, so, so for them to get a huge budget for a new IP, yeah. it's much easier for Christopher yeah. Nolan to do that. That's true. Versus him. So after hearing that, I'm going to bring it up to a 9.2 cool. because cool. it made sense. Yeah, so. that's true. They, I just, they accomplished, I feel like, a lot with this movie. And the just visuals, in a lot of ways. The visuals oh, are incredible. Crap so are here's incredible. the thing. This is the movie that I was like the absolute most hyped for for the entire year. Yeah. Once we saw the preview at Mission Impossible 7, because I didn't, I hadn't even heard that this that movie was, was going to exist. Yeah, and then it was the only preview yeah. that played before that movie. It was just like the creator, and I was like, because the theater wasn't working. No, yeah, yeah, it was like busted, and we were sitting there forever. And then all of a sudden, it's like one preview, and then the movie. And it was like, oh, uh, okay. So I was super hyped for this movie. I was kind of thinking, like, oh my gosh, is this going to be the next Star Wars? Mm -hmm. Spoilers, it's not. No. Nope. Um, I kind of so. On one hand, this did not live up to my personal hype, more for the future of the IP. Okay, okay. And for just kind of like where the story went. Yeah. Um, it was less of something that was kind of a Star Wars movie and more of like a story-driven movie, right? Yeah. Which Star Wars is story-driven, but it's also like, it's high fantasy. It's a lot it's of action. A lot of action, a lot of like fun stuff, but yeah. less story, story, I guess, yeah. right? There is a story, but... So, I'm not necessarily going to dock it points for that. Okay. But it did, like, I really liked the movie a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah, yeah And I cool liked movie. where it went. It just didn't go where I kind of, not expected, but where I was kind of hoping that it went. Because okay. it didn't, like, set up future movies or anything, I don't think. I mean, no. future movies are possible, yeah. right? But it didn't set them up. Yeah. Um, so, it wasn't... It wasn't in the same genre that I thought it was going to be. I think that's kind of mostly yeah. what, what it was. You're expecting kind of more action-packed right. with a story. This was more which some action with a really yeah. crazy good, story. Good action, good visuals. Oh, yeah, Really yeah. good story, like, overall. Yeah. Um, there was, like, some stuff with the story that I didn't love. Some underexplained things mm -hmm, and different mm -hmm. stuff like that. But overall, I think it was a very good movie. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to make a buttload of money or make big waves in just I don't see it making kind of pop culture or anything. All. Yeah, which is sad. I know. Maybe and it will, I think I think that's the writer strike because it's got to be because I was I was also listening to something else where the celebrities couldn't promote it because yeah. that goes against the writer strike. Right. 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 I mean, you saw almost nothing for this. Yeah. I think this could have been. If it was placed during summertime, yeah. it could have been advertised a little more. Right. I could have seen this being a well, $500 million yeah, well, movie. Even, even coming out now, it could have done really good because it's alone. Yeah. Like, there's nothing else similar to this movie out right now. Yeah. Not even, like, the things that were almost similar to it are not even in theaters anymore. Yeah. Right? So, it's it's all by itself. The only things that are coming up are, like, the more Christmassy movies. Or which scary. Are different, or scary movies. So, yeah. it's its own. Or Paw It's Patrol. standing alone. So, I'm hoping that maybe it gets some word of mouth. Yeah. And people go see it. Because this is a movie that so many people are going to like. Mm -hmm. um, like, Courtney liked this movie. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's not just action or just sci-fi or right, just right. whatever. Like, it's a very, very good... Um, it's just a good, like, overall movie. Okay. So... I'm hoping that it does well because I'd like yeah. to see a second one. I would too. Um, It'd be cool. But, yeah. Okay, I have one question for you before we get into spoilers. Okay. What was your thoughts on the score? I really liked it. Um, it was... I, I really liked it. It was a little okay. few and far between. Like, there wasn't enough score for me. I felt very underwhelmed when I really? saw Hans Zimmer oh, at the end. Oh, see. Okay, so if you hadn't seen the name, what would you have thought? I would have thought it was just fine. Interesting, okay. There was one song that was like during a scene that was really, really cool that I wrote okay. notes for. Okay. And then I didn't write a lick of notes for anything else because gotcha. it, was, it just felt like generic action movie background music. Yeah. Or intense background music. It didn't feel like... Okay. Something cool. So that that and the story feel, were I my that. 
points off. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I was very underwhelmed with the score. Interesting. I w- okay. I don't have any specific notes yeah. about the score. Yeah. Um, I just think like I about think Hans Zimmer. Songs. I'm like Inception. You yeah. Know, well, and- that's see. That kind of felt like that to me. So I don't know. Maybe <sighs> yeah, we're just I, maybe we're just vibing different. You and we, I. Me, I, me and my brother saw an XD in Cinemark, yeah. which is like huh. the IMAX. And yeah. I wasn't like shaking in my mm. seat from coolness. So. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, good to know. Okay. Do you recommend the movie? I do. Okay. I. The main thing I've been going back and forth on the visuals. The visuals are so good, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it's like a you have to see it in theaters. Okay. I think you should go see it in theaters. Just yeah. to, I think you need to go see it in theaters to promote this movie. Right, right. This yeah. movie deserves to do well it and does. deserves another movie. But all the visuals were really cool. But there was nothing that was like, man, I needed to see that in theaters. Right. You right. know, the big structure was insane every oh, time so you cool. saw it. But this also is, be cool on your TV. <laughs> I'm gonna say something that's probably gonna be a hot take, and it can be looked at in a million different ways. I think the visuals for this movie were better than Avatar. And I'll explain it a little more when we get into it because they're different, right? Where Avatar oh, yeah, has yeah. a lot of people. So it's like or people, right? CGI um, people. And, and uh, like landscape. So it's mm-hmm. very different from w- this one, which is mostly just like hard surface CGI, yeah. which technically has been able to be really good since like the early 2000s. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would just say that this one was way cleaner for, but yeah, <laughs> and for eighty million dollars versus thirteen bajillion dollars or whatever they spent on Avatar. Yeah, I mean they say the budget's like three hundred million, but if he needed to make two billion to break even, yeah, how much did he pay out of pocket for the development of this CGI? Yeah, yeah. So, so mm-hmm. it looks as good as Avatar. For oh, eighty million dollars, hundred percent. And I don't know how they did yeah, that. Yeah, hundred percent. It's so. insane. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Subscribe. Subscribe. To the podcast. To YouTube. To X. Or Twitter, if you're still calling it Twitter. Subscribe to iTunes. Um, Subscribe to the Zune. Um, We're we're on the Zune. What's the Zune? You're talking about the Zune like the MP3 player? (laughs) Because it said iTunes. (laughs) Wow. You can find us on the Super Nintendo um, at Reaction Time Podcast uh, underscore SNES. So, not really, but. (laughs) I'm so confused. I don't know what you're talking about at all. (laughs) Ring the bell. Do all the fun things. What are you looking at? I'm just trying to find this thing. What thing? Anyway. Okay. What's the thing you're trying to find? I'm just trying to find the that article about how they did the CGI and I can't oh. find it. Oh. Did they go like in depth in it, I think in it so. and stuff? I oh, think so, okay. but I didn't read that much of it. Wow. Because I remember I was talking about it in another podcast and I was like, nobody wants me to, to hear me read this and I can't find <laughs> it. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I do remember you saying that. Oh, I found it. I think. I think. I think. <gasps> okay, anyway, we're going to jump into spoilers. Yes. And, uh, yeah. So, what are your visuals? Are they 200 then? Let me read you something real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay. (laughs) Um, Am I not going to be able to find it? Oh, no. (gasps) Oh, no. Sam can't find it. He wasn't prepared. Oh, my gosh. I was not prepared. You are not the prepared. I'm really mad. Comment down below on our YouTube video. (laughs) If you would like to see a condensed version of this podcast. So, I'm going to be doing those. I don't know. We'll All I know is they did something crazy with the CGI. Now I'm mad. I, did they, like, develop new technology for it? Or? I don't think so, but at the same time, wouldn't that be making headlines? I assume so, but how do you, how do you make this movie in an $80 million budget? Like, what can yeah. you just change that makes it look so much better for way less money? Is it AI? <laughs> okay, this is what it says. I can't figure out how we did it for the money that we had. I think it's a lot of targeted decisions. 
when I was approached about the movie, one of the, and this is the visual effects supervisor mm -hmm. talking about it. When I was approached about the movie, one of the things that Gareth Edwards spoke about was just this idea that we would figure it out as we went. We would partner together. We would list, he would list out all the things that he wanted aspirationally. Maybe he would get a lot of them, but he knew we wouldn't get all of them. That's a very different starting place than a lot of the movies that we work on. So they just kind of made it as they went, which honestly is not a bad idea. No. <laughs> because here's the thing. So um, for people who don't know this, I make music sometimes. Mm -hmm. And generally, people will write a song and then they will kind of hear it in their head and then, they'll, and then they'll hash it out, which probably takes a super long time. I don't know. I don't make music that way. I literally just write a song as I go. I do all of the instruments and all of the lyrics and all the vocals as I go, which sounds like that's kind of what they did for this movie. Mm -hmm. Where they just, I mean, he probably like wrote a story, but Obviously. then he didn't have like as many details as somebody normally would, where they have to like go back and do a bunch of reshoots because they didn't like it, didn't turn out exactly how they wanted. Yeah. Whereas if you're just reshooting in the moment, yeah. right? Because... Most movies, I feel like, waste so much money on reshoots. Oh, yeah. That like, was Secret so Invasion. Much. And I'll bet you they didn't do any reshoots on this movie. They probably I don't know didn't. that for sure, but... I almost... How some of the story plays out, they probably didn't. Yeah. Because they're trying to keep the budget low. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to give you my score right off the bat for okay. visuals. It's 199.5. Okay. <laughs> I do have to take 0.5 off of one thing. So, okay. the only thing... I'm going to have to give it a 199 because we don't do 0.5s here. But you the could. only thing that was not perfect was the the freaking sick bomb robots that just like run out of the ship. One of them, like they have like, I don't know if it was this rubber or this cloth like sleeve thing and it just didn't look real. Yeah, it looked like CGI. Yeah. Literally everything else in the movie looked perfect. All of it, to me at least. The only thing, everything looked perfect. Why were all the recordings like VHS quality? <laughs> I'm going to talk about that <laughs> when we get to vibe. I know it's going to be in forever, but I'm okay. going to talk about it. That's the only thing that bugged me. It was just like, yeah, they, it's futuristic. I get it. Yeah. Why, why are we watch? And it wasn't even like, that's just how the movie was presenting it. It right. was somebody watching it on a TV or a phone that looked like, Crap I know, I'm kind of curious about that. And I was like... But I'll talk about okay. it <laughs> later. I mean, um, I'm assuming they did it so that they can make it look... When you make something look super perfect, you're very... you, you People are... They pick apart at the little details, right, right. right? You know, like, it's like in Forrest Gump when it shows yeah. him meeting the president. Obviously, yeah. it's fake. So they made it look a little off so right. that it could get away with it. Yeah. So are you talking about just the beginning with all those yeah. commercials and stuff? No, I, like or, the 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 or later. I don't know if it was the president or the general guy when oh, he was I talking about the robots will serve us yeah, yeah, and yeah. protect us, and then that is interesting. The explosion. Yeah, I didn't dude, think about that. That was crazy. <laughs> so good. <laughs> the friggin' nuclear bomb so just good. like right after. Oh, that. I loved it. So yeah. I okay. So well, I'm gonna well, do, do 198. Wanna, 198. Great. Yeah. Okay. These do these visuals. So here's the thing about about the visuals compared to Avatar. Like I kind of said, Avatar was not flawless, right? Because I mean, it's very close yeah. to what they're trying to accomplish. But but if you actually saw footage of an actual like Navi person running around, and you put it up against an like Avatar footage, you'd see the difference mm -hmm. like really really good, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas in this case, if you if you take a, a video like of the Boston Dynamics robot that runs around, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't really look no. any different from the robots in this movie. <laughs> there were parts where I was like, I don't, I have is no idea CGI what's or is CGI it real? and what's not. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Which I honestly really feel like, as far as robots that kind of look like that, I think they started accomplishing that with like the Force Awakens mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Rogue One. Like the droids well, in BB those movies, is a real thing. right? Yeah, but then you get into Rogue One and they've got K two S O, that really tall, lanky, dark droid. It's like it looks just completely real. Like yeah. there's like no CGI there. Well, even in even the droid in Ahsoka, looks oh, hundred percent. You don't know. You have so no real. idea if that's a puppet yeah, or I what. Don't. Right. So hard surface CGI like that is 
That's Maybe rough. it's easy now, but at it, the same time, it, it you can get it so wrong. Yeah. Like Transformers got it so right, and then they started getting it so wrong like a million times over and over again. I don't know how it's been and getting they spent more money. It's on been it. getting worse, but <laughs> anyway. So in just in this movie, it's just it just looks perfect. It looks so good. And I would assume that a lot of that because a lot of them are wearing clothes, mm -hmm. right? And so I would assume that they're all people. Yeah. In like actual clothes and they're just doing maybe like a head replacement and hand replacements, right? That's true. Because I doubt they did a lot of CGI cloth and stuff because yeah. CGI cloth can be really good if you spend a lot of time on you it. spend a lot of time. And a lot of money probably. Yeah. Um, this just didn't like, and you can still tell when it's CGI cloth, even nowadays. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it was CGI cloth. No, you're like, probably right. And honestly, the coolest... I don't know what was cooler. The ones that were full robots or the AI that was like human face with, with the, the hole through their head. You know how much more difficult they make their job by making their heads see through? Yeah. And they nailed it. They, every every time. single time. And it moves inside of there. Yeah, it's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so freaking excited about this movie. <laughs> I don't want it to sound like I was like disappointed by this movie. I am, I'm trying to separate like where my expectations were and yeah. what this movie actually was because this movie was so cool. Yes. Like at least visually. I think um, if they were given maybe a little, I don't know if they even need more budget, but maybe a little bit more time to flesh out a little bit of the action and story. Yeah. This could be like be like the next if they make a next one this could be like a perfect movie oh absolutely because they have the good writing which yep. star wars doesn't have right but they don't have quite the crazy, they don't have cool the depth action. of because because yeah. star wars has like if we're talking about dialogue and plot holes star wars is like pretty yeah. mad but the story's the lore great, and stuff right yeah. um whereas the creators almost the opposite where the story is yeah. not really deep no um, but it's really good writing and dialogue and stuff like that. So yeah. it's like if they could com like get George Lucas to come and just write what's going to happen mm -hmm. and then have Gareth Edwards come <laughs> in and write like all the actual words. Um, but they ended but, yeah. it in a way where you could just continue. You could oh, either yeah, continue. Oh, yeah, they didn't end really anything. You could continue or you could even do the same universe in a, but a different story. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure, because this was also a very confined yes. story yes. Uh, overall, which is – a good way to go in a sense because you you leave so many doors open for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you made it for 80 million, like Dude. I'll go find somebody who has that much money and we'll just make the movie the second yeah, one. Because yeah, yeah. like that's not that much. I mean, I don't subscribe to the podcast <laughs> I don't have and get much. all of your friends to subscribe to the podcast and then we can budget the next. We, we will can, make you guys a deal. If we make 80 million off the podcast and we just have it sitting there, we will make the next creator. We'll make the next creator. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wonderful. It's a great <laughs> idea. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's let's dive into some notes. Um, uh, I loved the opening scene with all of the footage and mm -hmm, the commercials and, mm -hmm. like, all that kind of stuff. I just, I don't know. Like, right off the bat, I was hooked. I was intrigued. It looked great. Um, it was so weird just, like, seeing them getting invented and, like— Because yeah. it, it goes back to, what, like, the 60s or something? Yeah. Which is interesting because, on one hand, it kind of seems like this takes place— on our earth, but at the same time, like, that didn't actually happen in the 60s and 70s and stuff. So, I'm like, almost like, this is kind of an alternate reality of earth. I mean, it is our earth. But it's, but, you see, here's the thing. If it's something that takes well, place on our earth. Well, did we not have that, even that actually, crappy of robots back then? I don't know, in the 60s. We went to the moon, but we didn't have robots. I don't know. I don't know. If we went to the moon, we might have had some. Maybe. It's not like the robots were that high tech. I know. They were just like. But anyway, I, yeah, I don't know. Either way, it was cool. Uh, dude, the LA crater looked. Oh my gosh. Awesome. It looked awesome. It was so cool. <laughs> and that's exactly what LA needs right now. <laughs> Is just to take a crater, just a just a bomb to the dome, and just maybe just like a little bit of a reset because that place. Oh, it's a dumpster fire! I looked at my uh, brother and I was like, "Well, at least it was LA." I know, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, we're gonna get canceled. We are gonna get canceled. We don't want anybody to die. No, no, just no, to be no, clear. No, no, we just need people to move. To move. <laughs> Maybe the crater hit where there were no people and the governor decided it was time to go live. The, the hazardous, the you know, 
the fumes and stuff afterwards, you just had to move from there. Yeah, well, the fumes actually just set people straight. Like, it, ah, it screwed their heads back go. on their bodies. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, the ship... Nomad explosions. So yeah, I mean the the nomad was, was sick, kind of sick. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about the um, the ship explosions. Oh, what ship was it? It was the boat. Was it the boat? Oh, there was some ship. What ship? Yeah, the, the, oh no, 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 no. The it's the ship. No, it's it's when they're going to bomb the base, mm-hmm. kind of at the beginning when he finds the kid, and the ship blows up in the sky. They're like flying their little spaceship, like the crew. Oh, that yeah. That ship explosion was dope. That was sick looking. It was so cool. And the explosion of that base oh. was like… Oh. All the explosions. The explosions were so were good. Were so good. And they I would, felt good. I'm going to guess that they were real. Not like of that scale. Well, obviously. But is it kind of like most explosions are real. where they, they built just blow it? it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, they blow it up and then they blow it up. <laughs> it's just really what they do, honestly. Because um, most most explosions now are real. Even if you pull them like off of a, like a website yeah, or yeah. whatever, it's all like stock explosion footage yeah. that they like they they comp in. So um, one thing I thought was very interesting is there was a huge explosion and everybody flew except for the kid. Did not oh, move. I did not notice. Oh, that. it was so oh, no, interesting. That's right? Yeah. So it. That begs a completely different question. Yeah, because he can control of what this kid is. Yeah, because he can. Well, also, was it a boy or a girl? It was a girl, right? It was a girl. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, what is is the kid metal? Yeah. What's the kid made out of? Flesh and. But the only thing is, she's working. She cries though. Well, and she works on the baby. You see the mom. Is it the baby or was it? she said something about taking something from the embryo, but I wonder if it actually is just the baby. I just want an explanation. I want another. I want another movie. I think it's flesh and blood. Yeah, mostly. Most obviously. But, yeah, I mean, it's got the the thing in it. So in its head. anyway, but it, it, that also begs the question of like, is this kid indestructible? You know what I mean? Yeah, but then she gets shot. Yeah, but she didn't die. So. No, but she like that's true. You're yeah. right. So I don't know. Mm, I, I don't, don't know, know, but I thought that was re- really interesting just to see her not move. And then it's not even that they necessarily focused on that. It's almost like you blink and you miss it. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of a hidden detail, but kind of a telling one also. Hmm. Um, the landscapes and just the the buildings and everything looked so great. Everything just looked so good. Yeah, it looked so so good. And it was interesting to to combine the rural and the futuristic urban elements and and all that kind of stuff. It was just so sick. Uh, the robots watching <laughs> robot porn. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just robots. It's just I like, know, what? it's just robots. Just like, it's like robot strippers. Yeah, but there's, like, not- <laughs> there's nothing to take off because they're robots. <laughs> Very interesting idea. It, it was so weird, but then I was thinking about it and I was like, it's AI. It, yeah, it, <laughs> made it, by humans. It, it just it just gives them more humanity. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, uh, the boat tracking missiles. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Those were sick. <laughs> Those were so cool. Uh, I think my favorite visual thing were the freaking tanks when they oh, came up. It was that was very Avatar esque. Yeah, but like they look huge, so. Huge but they look so cool. Look so like the Avatar cool. tanks are like cool. Yeah. But like, but these, these ones were with like, the big old U.S. Army on them. <laughs> so cool. They were so cool looking. I'm gonna have to get the toy. Oh yeah. Uh, the running. So the running bombs. R two D two. Yeah, the R two D two Astromech <laughs> running bombs were my only point off of visuals, but literally only for the sleeves. That's it. Yeah. But other than that. So cool because they're yeah. not necessarily a design that's like super scary. No, but the way they run is terrifying, and they're indestructible. They're just like <laughs> yeah, they're just like blah, blah, blah. they run like they, the Mo- they run like Moe's from they got the Tom Cruise from run. the Office, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they just run in there and they blow up, and there's pretty much nothing you can do. To yeah, stop they just, them. they're shooting at them, and they just I don't care, which that's is cool. incredible. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, and then my last note is. When those people get sucked into space, like I've seen a lot of people get sucked into space, not in real life, but well, obviously, right? But in movies, this might be the best one, dude. They look you can really, feel, yeah. You feel the Jello slurp from space yeah. just go and just 
suck them in this space. Yeah. And there's something about it that was so good. It's, and just it was like float in there. Satisfying. It was good. Also kind of sad, but still satisfying. So great. So the other two notes that I had was the kid getting shot. Mm -hmm. I thought that was crazy. Not yeah. expecting that to happen at no. all. Um, and then the the sergeant lady, the like evil one, mm -hmm. her getting blown up. Oh, it was beautiful. lovely. Beautiful. It was so lovely. Beautiful. Good riddance. Yeah. To her. It's just lame. So I mean, visuals. I would love to see every movie from now on hit this standard. Yeah. Because I just watched Zombie Land and. I know that that movie was earlier, but come on. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> was there, was there bad-looking stuff in that movie? Oh, we'll talk about it. You guys, Zombieland. Oh, I, yeah, no, yeah, next you're, week. Yeah, yeah, you're true. <laughs> uh, it's 2009, and it's yeah, a comedy, it's so a comedy. I'm just <laughs> making a joke. But um, this, this, I honestly think, is the new bar. Yes. Avatar, like when Transformers came out. Oh, 100%. In 2007. This, this is the Transformers of now. Yeah. Um, just like the Barbie is the Transformers for girls, this is the Transformers for movies now. Uh, with Avatar is its own way thing less money with, made. Like, with like more, uh, I don't know, fantasy CGI, I mm -hmm. guess, of like things that aren't real. And people. This is like CGI of stuff that is or could be oh, real. Yeah. And this is the, this is the gold standard for yeah. sure. Because it's incredible. It looks so good. Uh, let's jump into the story, which is probably where you and I have the most issues. Yeah. Um, not even really issues, just like some no. points off. But. The one thing that I will say... Okay, did you get emotional on this at all? Uh, one part. Okay. Yeah, one, one part. I didn't cry. Okay. Um, but I... Yeah, I did feel it. The only reason I didn't get as emotional is because they didn't set up... Um, Homeboy and homegirl. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're called, what their names are. I know them as Tenet Guy and Eternals Guy. Well, one's Alpha. Um, Alpha and. Or Al oh, Alf Alfie. Alfie's the little Alfie girl. Alfie is the little girl. What is the husband and wife? Shibu and. I mean, technically Bing, she's Bing. Nermada, but. Like True. I said, dad was Nermada. Spoilers. Uh, oh, crap. A spoiler. Alert. Anyway, they didn't set them up as, as much to make me feel emotional about them, but, but him and the. And Alfie were, I think that story was pretty well written as it far was as like well Lone Wolf and Cub, yeah, kind of goes. So. It's like it's like, oh, yeah. you haven't have you seen Logan? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, Logan's great. Yeah, yeah, that it, that's definitely Logan vibes. Similar, oh for sure. And Logan yeah. did that same thing really well. Yeah. So, so the one thing I'll say because we were just talking about the R two D two guys. Yeah. Like, almost the most devastating slash like heart-wrenching thing in this movie if you really think about it did you hear what they said when they got all set up no maybe they, like they're setting them all up and they set the target and they're yeah. like it's been a pleasure to serve you oh yeah <laughs> it's just like them just why like, is that sad it's yeah. horrible because they're literally taking an ai robot I guess that's true, and literally huh? telling it to go kill itself to help yeah, serve what a bummer. You, right? To help serve humanity. And they're like, it's been a pleasure to serve you. It's like, it's happy to go kill Those itself. Those are the Chick-fil-A of, bo <laughs> of bomb robots. <laughs> it's my pleasure. <laughs> I was just like, oh. That's kind of sad. That's horrible. <laughs> Dang. Chick-fil-A workers in the future be like. Can we get an F in the chat for the R2-D2 guys? The R2-D2 Chick-fil-A employee <laughs> bomb robots. <laughs> that it's a new toy by Hasbro. Wow! It just it just it's a fire it's a it firecracker just it just runs, runs it and it just blows it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good toy, but it only lasts about three minutes because they it's should make those fireworks. That's a great That'd idea. Be legit. I would love. They that. Just run. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh, um, man. Nomad was giving me like anime vibes, dude. <laughs> Nomad was yeah that big old ship in the sky. Dude, I don't know why. So something sick. about that was like oh. I don't know why it's so cool, but it's so cool. <laughs> but it's so cool. Just the way it like comes out of the atmosphere. I don't know. I don't watch any anime, but <laughs> if I did, that would be it. <laughs> my, so only thing, cool. my only thing wasn't even it flying. It was the freaking light beams of the coordinates and everything. And I was just like, how terrifying would that be that is, on the ground? Oh, that is one of the coolest so, ideas. Yeah. It looked so good. It just the way so that, that it like comes down and then it kind of like, Goes over the the the, the land and uh -huh, stuff. the mountains and everything. Oh my gosh, it was so cool, <laughs> so cool. Yeah, just that looked. 
And it's super unique. Oh, yeah. I've never seen anybody do that before. No, no. There's been big ships, right? Oh, like yeah, the of Death Star. Yeah. But this was like the Death ham Hammerhead Shark. This was legit. This was freaking sick. It was terrifying. It was awesome. Because that's the thing, like the Death Star, like it blows up like one thing and then it dies. Yeah. Right? This like killed thousands of people. <laughs> yeah, which is almost worse because the Death Star killed just one whole planet. At the same time, this is like, I'm going to kill you slowly. Yeah, they killed the planet. Who knows who was on that planet? Nobody yeah, cares, probably right? No, probably nobody. Yeah, Alderaan yeah. was on vacation that, that day. <laughs> uh, so the dog carrying the grenade to the police. Oh. So that gave me major Winston vibes. <laughs> so these, these police dro droids, robots, <laughs> throw a grenade in to kill basically the main character. And the dog picks it up and carries it back out to the police and drops it and blows them up. And I was like, that's something Winston would do because he's an absolute nuisance. <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was great writing. It was like a little oh. comedic. This is basically the only thing oh. in here that was like a little bit funny. I, there's, I have a couple notes of some Wait, but funny did the things. dog die or did the dog No, the dog away? survived. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. remember it. I was like, oh, wait, no, did the dog blow up? Because, oh, I remember because we were watching that and Courtney was like, no, they're going to blow up the dog. And I was like, oh, yeah, that would be really bad. Or the, when the guy has the dog and he's going to yeah, kill gonna it. Yeah, he's going to kill it? Me and my brother are like, no, no, that's no. freaking psychotic, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. So the one thing that I thought was a little dumb was the cliche that the security guards weren't watching yeah. when they came up. Yeah, absolutely. Which is fine, but come on. let's. Yep. Everything was so real in this movie. Don't give me something dumb like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so when she, so she has the power to just kill people, which is freaking sick. But she does this and she kills that guy and she just goes off. I was like, sick. She uh, has cool. the power to kill Ro robots. Ro robots. Yeah. 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 So she has the power to shut off electricity. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when she did that and she like killed that guy and she just says, off. It's like, all right. <laughs> Go get it. gave I me eleven that. vibes, you know, almost yeah, where yeah. like early, early eleven vibes where she's just a kid, but she also can like blow your brain up. Yeah, but she, she doesn't to. quite understand everything yet. Yeah. 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 I love that play back and forth. And then when they finally see mm -hmm. the recording and it's like standby, not off, and you're like, <gasps> Oh, that's so cool. Sweet, sweet payoff. Yeah. It was really good. Um the idea of the brain transfer from the person to the robot. Was sick. Was really cool. Great and also, idea. Like it needing to be fresh. Yes, because that is true. Is your brain decaying? Yeah, she's like he died a lot, like thirty minutes ago. We yeah. probably only have ten seconds. Yeah, or it was something like that. Yeah, like that's really cool. That's cool. So again, great freaking ideas. It's just like there's so much about the story where maybe the story overall was slightly lacking. They did have a lot of cool details mm -hmm. that I thought made up for a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, another one of those is donating your likeness because they have these robots yeah. and they start to basically get faces, right? They yeah. get faces put on them so they can start to look like people. And there's like these billboards up and it's like, donate your likeness today and help the cause of AI. And it's like <laughs> so freaky because then people are walking around, there's like a bunch of people with the same face and it's it's a yeah, cool idea, but it cool also idea. feels kind of real. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We would do, oh, people yeah. would do that oh, in real life. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. Yeah. So that's where we're at as if, a society. If, you know, Ryan Reynolds donated his face. Why wouldn't I change my face exactly. to Ryan Reynolds? Exactly. Why mean, wouldn't I cut my head off and turn into AI and put Ryan Reynolds' face <laughs> oh, on my face? Yeah, there's mean, no reason not there's to no do that. There's no reason not to do that. Except for I wonder if his head would look too skinny on my body. Mm, that's true. That's what I struggle with on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. the couple funny parts that I thought were hilarious okay. were when they're infiltrating the base and they've closed off the the thing and the lady flips the people off mm -hmm. and then she's she's speaking in I don't know Korean I don't know yeah. what the language was and then the auto translates like please make oh. love to yourself and also make love to your mother <laughs> that was hilarious I wrote that you know down. they're not saying love oh it's so funny <laughs> so good um <laughs> Yeah, I freaking love that. Yeah. So, uh, I just thought it was also cool because he's looking for, oh, her name's Maya. He's looking for Maya. Maya the whole time and he finally finds her and then he realizes that she donated her likeness and so there's just a bunch of her just walking around but none yeah. of it's actually her. Again, so cool. It is cool. It was a great, great thing because you're like, you're like, oh my gosh, she found her and then, <laughs> nope. 
Uh, She's not actually there. So one of the conversations that I loved the most was the conversation about heaven Uh that he has with her first. And she says, um, you know, he's he's like, you have to be a good person to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. And she looks at him and he says, neither, she says, neither of us can go to heaven because you're not a, you're not good. And I'm not a person. Yeah. That was such a cool line. It was a cool line. Very, very cool. And then, the payout of it later, and I'm going to bring this up in acting, but but actually, I'm going to bring it up in acting. But when they talk about heaven later, and it's so good. Yeah. Um, one of the funny parts I thought of, okay, or that I wrote down was that another one of the the AI girls is she's like, I'm going to the kitchen. Do you want anything? And she says, or she she says, I'm going to the kitchen. What do you want? And she goes, for robots to be free. I know. <laughs> She's like, it's like kind of sad, but kind well, of funny. And then she's like, well, we don't have that. You want yeah, some ice not, cream? I don't have any of that. You want ice cream? <laughs> that part was sad too. So. Sad and funny. Okay, so I don't have this in my notes, but story-wise, I just feel like there was a lot that should have been explained that yeah. didn't really get explained. Mostly about kind of like they brushed over um, because basically mankind is at war with AI because of a nuclear bomb that was dropped on LA. That they think AI did that. They think AI did it, right? And so they say, AI did this. And then later in the movie, somebody says, it was just a coding error. They accidentally nuked themselves. And that's the entire thing. Which, on one hand, that's fine. But also, I would like them to get into that. But maybe that's a whole other movie, right? I think it would be. So... It was kind of like, oh, they brushed over that, but maybe it's okay. Like, I, I, I'm kind of undecided on that. But there were several things like that were that that were kind of brushed over. The creating yeah. of the little kid of Alfie, yeah. the creation was kind of brushed over and not so, really here it is. mentioned too much. So there's several things like that where I'd like some more explanation that detracted just a little bit from my ability to get emotionally invested mm-hmm, in the movie mm-hmm. quite a bit. So that's mostly where I'm going to take points off. The one thing that I'm going to take points off, it wasn't as bad as Revenge of the Sith, but... Fair. But <laughs> when Maya mm-hmm. is... So basically, the last time you see her, you see her being exploded in a boat, yeah. right? And then these general people come up to the main guy and was like, she's still alive. And so he's like, okay, I'm going to go find her now because he didn't want to be a part of it. Yeah. And His name is Joshua, by the way. Joshua. So yeah, this whole movie you're waiting for, right? And then he thinks he sees her and it's just the donating your likeness. And he finally gets to her. Yeah. And she's in a coma, kind of-ish. Yeah, she's in a coma. Because she lost the will to live because her child died but there's another child that she created. She literally made this kid. She literally made this. I, I got it's really. It's almost more dumb. Well, I no, don't know. No, because she didn't lose her kids. That's true. In Revenge of the Sith. They're both still alive. And she just They're like. They're dead now. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't as bad as Revenge of the Sith, but I was still like, come on. like Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I just realized that both Luke Skywalker and Leia Organa also lost the will to live and just died just because. <laughs> that makes me so much madder. I never even realized they didn't even... I would love for Luke to have gotten killed. He should have gotten killed by he somebody. He should have gotten killed. No, it was just... He just, he just decided... all his energy. Yeah, he was done. I'm just done. And that was Leia. And she's also... Yeah, she's like, oh, I'm already 60. Yeah, I'm out of here. And she <laughs> dies too. It's like, are you freaking kidding me? Dude, that's why the freaking... Wow, I didn't even think about how lame that is. Oh, that's is. why I hated The Last Jedi. Was I know, because of I Luke. hated it because of Luke, but I didn't even think about the fact that he just decided <laughs> he to just go... Lost the will to he live. just went away. Yoda lasted 900 years. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting off topic. So anyway, I do think the story was very good and all of the little details about the story were really cool. And yeah. not even necessarily about the story, but just... Things that were inserted into the movie and yes. ideas about how things would work because that does set a movie apart in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. The attention to detail of you know not just what's going to happen during this movie, but also like how is society functioning? Right. What kind of technology do people have? Right. How do people talk? You know, what kind of robots are there? What What are the governments like? Mm-hmm. All sorts of stuff like that it takes a lot of planning and consideration and all that kind of stuff. So I have to give them bonus points for the well thought outedness of the movie without overcomplicating it. Right. And to me, 
it did it a lot better. So if you think of like the original Avatar, I was irritated by that story because it was just like the army and stuff is just evil. They're pure evil, yeah. right? They just come and kill everything. And they just want they just want a thing. And they just want a thing, right? Yeah. I think for me personally, I'm getting like into the actual real life of this movie, mm-hmm. but I think the government or whoever, president, whatever you want to do, I think they knew that that nuclear bomb wasn't by AI, but they were yeah. so terrified of what AI could become that they made they spun that and they wanted people to go against them so that they could destroy AI because they didn't want it to take over because they wanted to be in power. That's a cool idea. That's my thought process. So I liked it a little bit more. It didn't just seem like, I mean, you saw a U.S. Army on these massive Uh tanks going and killing everybody, but it wasn't like they're just evil. It was they're scared. Yeah, that's fair. I I actually like that. That That was my thought when you said— that, oh, it was actually just a coding thing. Yeah. That was how I felt about it. Gotcha. Was they probably knew, but they yeah. were spinning it because they were terrified of AI. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. What are you going to give the story? I'm not going to give it very low. It's really, it, it was a good story. I think it fell a little flat around the middle. Mm-hmm. The third act was so good, though. Yeah, like the, everything in the Nomad. Yeah. Like honestly, the first and third act. I think the first were, and third were, were very perfect. Good. Yeah, yeah, the second was a little mudded. Yeah. Um. I, I'm. I'll just. I'll give it a 186. Okay. Like cool. still a really good story. Yeah. It had its problems, but. Yeah. Eighty million dollars, new IP. I'll take this any yeah. day. I'm going to give it a 189 for kind okay. of the same reasons. I just love that attention to detail. The story was good. It wasn't, and it wasn't a basic story, no. right? It wasn't like, I don't know. This isn't some adaptation of some fairy tale or something that we've seen like a million times. Mm-hmm. It was, it wasn't even Lone Wolf and Cub because he's not really much of like a loner loner. You know, he wasn't that reluctant either. Like a little yeah. bit. But it wasn't but he knew people. as much the same as other things. As like right? Logan. Yeah. So I liked it. Yeah. I thought it was good. And, uh, just, and just hearing about you need to use existing stuff to kind of promote a new IP. That's yeah. where I was like, okay, I have more respect for this movie because before I was like, that story's kind of lame. It was just like every other movie I've seen jumbled up together. Right. But it wasn't, and you have to have a hook, Yeah, right? This isn't George Lucas funding his own movie, basically, right. to create Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, acting. I don't have any notes for acting. I have one note. Okay. When the kid gets shot, Alfie... And she's in a lot of pain. Oh, wait. No. It's when they're about to kill the kid. And he, like, he goes up to her? Yeah, and I think it's that part. And, and she goes, and she's, I think she's crying. And she goes, am I going to heaven? Dude, that, how old is that kid? I don't know. Because the acting from that kid she was, did phenomenal. she's nine. Holy crap. Which means <laughs> when they filmed this, she was seven or eight. Yeah. Dude, she was she good. was so good, so good, like really, really, really good. And everybody else was great. Here's the thing, I didn't have any problems. So, Gemma Chan, I think is it Gemma or Gemma? I think it's I can't, I can't remember. I it's She's been Gemma. in every movie since 2019. I don't know why. She's been in Crazy Rich Asians, Eternals, Don't Worry Darling, Captain Marvel. Uh, she's gonna be in the Marvels. She was in. Transformers, she was in Sherlock, like everything that has come out recently, right? I did not realize that. Yeah. And then John David Washington, who I feel like I've only seen in Tenet. Yeah, I know. Um, Which he was great in Tenet. He was great in Tenet. He was great in Tenet. Because he dragged that cheese grater across that guy's face. It was my favorite part of the movie. Um, Those two were, were jazz, I feel like they were both really realistic. Yeah. Which in a lot of ways just gives them a 200. And then everybody else was really good. Like, the, my my only complaint maybe is Evil Sergeant Lady. Yeah. Who played Evil Sergeant Lady. Um, 
She just got like I didn't her character yeah. arc was bad. Yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah. Maybe it's a writing thing. Cause it was yeah, it was but a her little, acting was fine. Her arc, her the writing for her character was like a little like a little muddy. It's way over the top. Yeah. Way over so, the top. So she was fine. Yeah. But other than like the kid, honestly, the kid it herself gives this movie so many points. Just for a kid like that, I don't know if I've seen acting like that from a kid that young. Yeah. This is what I wanted Looper to be. To honestly, yeah. 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 One hundred percent. So I'm gonna give it a hundred and ninety nine, and that's all that kid basically. Yeah, one ninety eight. Okay. I, I, her and just everybody else was fine. You yeah. know, I thought the tenant guy did really, really good. Yeah. And the girl did really good, but it wasn't like everybody was phenomenal, right? You know. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Score. Okay. So. The song that was playing when they were doing the very first infiltrating of the bass uh-huh. with all of them. Uh-huh. I don't know what that song was, but it was sick. Pretty sick. Super That's, sick. Yeah. They had like these weird like kind of like vocal noises mm-hmm. in it. And that's that's all I know. It? Okay. And when like Nomad's being blown up and stuff and it's kind of getting intense, like <sighs> it just felt Ooh, like So when intense. they were flying up to Nomad, that song was Dope. Okay, I don't know if I remember that but, one. But, I mean, I, I see where you're coming from. I think that maybe the music just hit you and I differently in the movie. Which yeah, it just felt like your typical works, intense music. That's rare. Yeah. Well, what are you going to give it? I don't know. It was fine. But I don't know if I can give it, like, super high because yeah. nothing blew me away other than that one song, which I thought was legit. Okay. I don't know what it was. It was like Ant-Man. <laughs> yeah. It's like that 30 seconds of that like absolute <laughs> yeah, banger. Yeah, when Bill Murray and then comes it was out. Nothing. And then it was just like, yeah. okay, it was fine. I'll, I'll give it a 171. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not like... That's not that bad. No. I, it wasn't horrible. Yeah. But just nothing like super stuck. I remember the music when it was getting intense. Yeah. Which I usually don't, but it wasn't like, oh, this mm-hmm. is good music. It was just, oh, cool. Okay. Intense music. I'm going to give it a 185. Okay. Which I would call the low end of top tier scores. Okay. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. So um, it's not it's not in the Star Wars, Pirates, Lord of the Rings uh, tier, mm-hmm. but it's kind of like up there with them, you know, like you know it's interning for those scores you know it's a little yeah. low low level employee but you know earning its merit so i thought it was really good i was shocked to see hans zimmer at the end but at the same see here's the thing you saw hans zimmer and you thought oh really yeah i saw i saw hans zimmer and i was like that makes sense so it's interesting that yeah that's so weird that we felt differently about that but cuz i thought it was good i thought it was like a, a i'm going to really give it a, okay score. i'm going to change my score to a 176 Whoa. because the sound effects we're were jumping. so good in this movie yeah. That nomad, That's just true. like the, oh. in the lights and all. I loved it. That was good. That yeah. was really good. Um, we didn't talk about in the story the freaking end when he's climbing on the freaking rocket while the thing's moving. Huh. Dude, that entire ending scene. <laughs> why, why, yeah, how did we not it's talk so about the end? so nerve-wracking. The end is so good. <laughs> He's literally hanging on to this giant missile, and he's like, "Please don't launch!" Like, and the and they, they do the camera angle so you see Earth. Oh, and you're just like, it looks like the guy. If you've ever seen the video, the guy who the Red Bull guy who jumps from the stratosphere. Yes, that's where he's at. Yes, you know, with no parachute. Can I ask one thing? Okay, when they turn the power back on, why didn't the rocket fall? I don't know. Okay. That didn't make sense to me because yeah. he's on it and it's the next one, right? It's the next one that's going to drop. Yeah, and then I, yeah, I got and confused about that power also. Off. And then it came back on. And, and it came back he was, and he was still on the rocket. But it then another rocket get off. launched. I don't know. Well, I don't think another one launched. They oh. were all just still going. Oh. But they were all oh, going right. to their, their places. Yeah. And until they destroyed it, that's when they fell. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Interesting. why didn't he drop? I don't know. It was... <laughs> yeah, it was I don't know. And then also just like when Nomad blows up and he dies. First of all, really sad, but also that was a really cool scene where he is able to go like have one final moment yeah. with the brain of his Let me ask you late a question. Wife. Did they die? 
I sure hope not, but at the same time, I sure hope they did because I don't like movies that kill somebody off and then the next movie they're like, just kidding, they survived the explosion. You didn't see them actually die. No. But you saw big chunks of the ship just landing on Earth. Yeah. That's my thing is like... Maybe. I don't know what... They would have here's to... Th- here's, what, here's my question. Even the crash landing, they probably would have died from. <laughs> here's my question. Let's say you fall... I, I don't know science. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. Let's say you fall from the sky on an indestructible thing. A very, very... Let's say it's the size of... A giant building. Okay. And you are sitting on top of it. Yes. And it falls from the sky, it lands on earth, and it doesn't smush or anything. It just kind of stops. What yes. happens to you? Well, do you, you have you the smush? force. <laughs> do you? Well, do you go- you, well, it depends on how it hits. Like, if you're at an angle and you were at the top and it hit, you would fall at that angle. Right. But it, right? what if it's just a building and it's falling straight down <clears throat> and you're sitting right on top of it? Do you just break your coccyx or like— you, you would? Yeah, you would splat. Because it's like it, it just it, suck it, all of your it's body. The re, on. It's the reverse force yeah. of the building coming up plus you hitting. Okay, I'm submitting that they're dead. <laughs> I'm submitting that they're dead too. <laughs> and also, you got to think about this is from space, so they would have gotten far, very hot. I can't. Oh yeah, this place, <laughs> they're spicy. You're probably right. They're probably uh, burnt. Yeah. Okay, vibe. Okay. My one thing about the vibe, which I wanted to talk about, kind of with the VHS stuff. Okay. Is and it's a little bit that, but. This had a similar vibe to Star Wars in that Star Wars, George Lucas developed to, um, his goal was to make it feel futuristic, but lived in Mm -hmm. futuristic, which nobody had kind of done up to that point. Everything futuristic was like shiny chrome and this is the future and blah, Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. And he was like, no, like the future is still going to feel like everything's used yeah. and all that kind of stuff. That's how this felt where it wasn't, and it was kind of like Looper, but yeah. not as over the top, like yeah. doom and gloom as Looper, more like Looper felt realistic in its own way as far as like people go. This felt pretty realistic as yeah. far as like technology and just like the earth goes because it was still like separated into classes mm-hmm. and and different stuff like that. So, And nothing felt too new. To where it was like too futuristic for the right, right? Because t- what is what does most of the movie take place in twenty seventy something? Yeah, was it like twenty sixty four? I think the first thing was twenty sixty four, and then maybe it was ten oh, years later. Think, so it was twenty seventy four. Yeah. So maybe some of that's a little far fetched, but also yeah. that's fifty years away. Oh yeah, like yeah. Far. So I don't know. I liked that as- aspect a lot about this movie, and I don't know. I just really liked the movie a lot. So the movie was cool. I'm going to go 198, 198 on the vibe. Okay. I'm gonna, just for the non, I don't know. It didn't suck me in all the way, mm-hmm. but it got very close. Yeah. I'm going to give it 192. Okay. Yeah. Great. Still really good. Yeah. Just had some minor problems. Yeah. But I, th- my thing for this is I think, I'm hoping that it has some legs. I'm hoping yeah. that it gets some traction. Yeah. Because I think the second one could be the movie I wanted. For sure. That would this be could awesome. This could be the I Empire Strikes Back to yes. New Hope, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. What do you think you gave the movie, Mr. Craig? 9.50. Nine fifty. One. Nope. Nine fifty. I gave it nine fifty. Yeah, you gave it nine fifty. Dang it! Uh, so I was higher than you. Yeah, oh, so definitely. I'm gonna say I gave it a nine seventy four. Okay. Nine seventy. <laughs> Sometimes it's an even number. Okay. Sometimes yeah, both of our nine fifty and nine seventy. Nine fifty yeah. and nine seventy. Okay. Well. Yeah, I mean, go watch like it. it. I just, I think you have to watch just it just to promote theaters. this movie. Go watch yeah, it. Yeah, because this this movie deserves a lot of love. Dude, Nomad exploding looked so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was all so good. It was also, also, like so when good. that missile came just in lands. That, and just lands. It looks so it's good. It's so big. Yeah. It like shows you how big it really is. And that kind of almost like tells you what the destruction is going to be like. Oh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> it was freaking awesome. Uh, box office prediction, my guy. Oh, my gosh. Not a great weekend. No. At all. 
30 million. 30 million. That was worldwide, right? Yep. Oh. Maybe everyone was busy that weekend. Maybe it's like uh, Morbius. No. I think the problem was they didn't have the marketing for it. And as dumb as Saw is, it's still a big thing. Yeah. And as dumb as Paw Patrol is, it was a big thing. Yeah. I don't think it's going to do much more domestically. I think it, if it's going to make money, it's really? all going to be international. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Oh my gosh! I don't want to. I, I don't want to lowball, but at the same time, I'm gonna say. Ugh. One fifteen. Wow, Craig with the big numbers here. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? No, I'm gonna go what? No, okay, go. That's too high. You gotta pick a number. That's one 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 hundred and one. Okay, one hundred and one. I am gonna go the extremely hopeful route, and I'm gonna double its budget. I'm gonna say it's gonna make a hundred and sixty million dollars. Perfect. And it's gonna hit, hit that number it that does. it needs to do. I I'm, hope I'm just it going does. hopeful on it. Uh, but realistically, that's not gonna happen unless. No. Here's the thing. It could, We've though. seen some crazy things happen though. Well, With Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, Elemental. Holy crap. They did mm. they did nothing. And then, Elemental, I'm sorry, those numbers are they're totally totally rigged. faked. But if they were real, maybe maybe let's just pretend they're maybe real. Maybe they'll fake these numbers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He'll be like <laughs> 50 million. Oh, 500 million. <laughs> ah, yes. 30 million weekend? No, actually 300 he, like, just million weekend. He buys box office mojo and he's like, <laughs> here's the numbers. Okay, guys. Well, um, I recommend this movie a ton. Yeah. I think that anybody could like this movie because it's not just an action movie. Mm -hmm. um, it is a lot more than that. And it's very intriguing and very fun. Yeah. So I would say go see it. Um, depending on how our schedules work, Ahsoka will be next. Yep. It might be the same week or it might be maybe like beginning of yeah. next week. Who knows? We may be, we might, my guess is we're going to release three episodes over the next like 10 days yeah, or 11 that's days. That's our thought. So, and then we'll do Zombie Land. And then we're getting into the scary movies. And we're getting into the movies. scary movies. And I'm going to pee my pants live on television. Okay. That's disgusting. Well, anyways, <laughs> it's you, bro. This has been the best episode <laughs> of rubber endometriosis. Oh, wow. Acting cool. Timmy is <laughs> orange nuts. Taurus, Tauruses, tor tortoise. not tortoises, but Tauruses, like the zodiac sign. Oh. And Ford Tauruses. <laughs> Inching miles <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. What was that? That I was don't know. amazing. Thank you so much. Oh. I'll be here all week. Thank you. And stay tuned for Ahsoka. Bye. It's if you haven't watched and Loki. it, watch yeah, it. Yeah, watch it. It's been, okay. It's been good. It's been good. Okay, okay. bye. Bye.